as you know, there is a lot of military history in the area around the Stewart Air Show. Yeah, so a big part right of it is down the road, Hope Sound. We were there not too long ago, yeah. Jonathan Dickinson State Park. In World War II, Camp Murphy stood where the state park actually is now. And according to a local historian, his name is Josh Liller. He's with the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse. Uh, the camp was a Southern Signal Corps school for the U.S. military in the war. So about 20,000 soldiers, airmen, and Marines learned radar equipment skills and kept the camp operational. These top secret skills were used around the world by our military in the war. I think it's really important to preserve sites like this. People don't realize how much has happened around them, how much has changed, why things are the way they were today. If not for this camp, this park wouldn't be here. We told you this is all rich in history. In 1944, the state of Florida bought the 11,000 acres where the camp stood. It is now Jonathan, Jonathan Dickinson State Park. I'm listening to planes. We've got planes overhead here. It's coming. Um, the local <laughs> buildings, back. like the Road to Victory Military Museum here in Stewart, it's actually where uh, Camp Murphy buildings are. So as you mentioned, I mean, you could live here all your life and learn something new all the time. Yeah, we're learning stuff this morning. Let's pause for a second. Can you hear that roar right there? I mean, things are really going.